Hey guys, I'm just going to show you a video today about um, Hive OS. I'm going to show you my uh, my farm online and uh, how briefly in, in, tell you guys how to install and use it and just go over the, the fees associated with Hive OS. So Hive OS is um, an operating system. It's like Windows, but it's for mining. It's, it's really cool. This is my first time using it. I started about a uh, week, week with a week ago with it. So, um, basically, I have two computers, um, rig one and rig two, that I have up with Hive OS right now. Um, and you can see kind of here, this time is how long they've been up since they last booted. The A is like for AMD video cards. It shows the algorithm it's mining with and the hash rate and the the miner. And it also shows uh, accepted shares. Um, now, usually it's about 99% or higher. Um, I have lower on this one, and it's either because uh, I have it a little too, I have the memory too high or the core too, voltage too low on one or two of the GPUs, or it's because, and what I'm thinking is, um, just for now, I'm, I'm testing the rig with a wireless connection in a room that probably doesn't have the best wireless connection. So it, it for the most part it works with the wireless, but I think it like there might be some lag spikes and it's causing some invalid shares. Actually, I don't think they're invalid. Let's check real quick. Um, so this is what happens when you open up one of the pages. See, rig two is the name of it. Um, so they're not invalid shares, actually. They're just rejected shares. And invalid would more mean, like, I think, I don't actually know the difference, but invalid or worse. I think invalid is, like, if your memory is, like, way overclocked or you don't have enough voltage, something like that. So so it's kind of cool. So in this rig, you can kind of see my two GPUs in it, a 5600 XT and a 5700. Um, I have the 5700 BIOS modded to get it a little bit more mega hash. And you can see some settings over here. Um, shows the hash rate, um, temperatures, the core is on top, and the memory temp is on the bottom for each one. Um, shows, these are like estimates. I mean, at the wall, it's these are not correct um, for the wattage. And some settings uh, shows you what you got, and you can change the settings. This is one of the ways you can change the setting. Click this button and see the clocks voltages for some things so yeah it's it's cool and even they've got popular presets so you can see what other people are using and i'm not really sure what these are about but it's it's kind of cool if you don't know, have to check that out if you don't know what you're doing you can see what other people are using and you know you set up your pool and stuff online and your wallet. I'm mining to nice hash, so you can actually see my nice hash wallet right here. I don't know if that's good to show on the internet, but whatever. Probably doesn't matter. Um, worst case, I'll just change it uh, if I can do that. <laughs> and yeah, there's different ways you can overclock it. So, so yeah, this is for rig two. Um, so this is like my test rig right now. It's like my next rig I'm building, and I'm just kind of got some tests running, and I'll add another GPU or two in the next day or two. Um, and also, very soon, I'll, I'll get it back to a wired connection just because uh, my dad is watching football in the room I had it testing. The fan on this 5700, it's a reference card. That's why it's just AMD. It doesn't show, like, MSI or Gigabyte or anything. It's a reference, so the, the fan is really loud. Even though the fan is only at 66%, it's super loud because it's a reference. So, um, the rig I, I've been enjoying... Um, let's see, why is that, let's see, there's a little uh, red one right there. I think that's an invalid share, so that's different from the rejected shares we got with rig 2. So we'll go to rig 1, and what was that red thing about? Oh, look, it gave me this message, Phoenix Miner rebooted about four minutes ago, automatically, like I didn't even do this, and I've seen this before, but other than that, yeah, so he booted three minutes ago. It's been up longer than that, but that's interesting. I think it's because um, something that was either froze or something like that because um, it was stable for like 24 hours plus, but this morning I increased the mem clock um, either 5 or 10. It was like 9.10 or 9.15, so it might not be stable at 9.20, and it 
it restarted automatically. So that's cool. So you can see my hash rates here and the total hash rate for the whole rig up here. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. And some other miscellaneous stuff down here. Um, so shows you what hardware, some of the hardware you got. So yeah, um, it's really cool so far. And I guess I'll show you guys now how to install it. And it's really easy to install. You either need a flash drive. That's what I'm running this one on, rig one. Or, um, or just like a S cheap SSD would be good. Um, rig two has a 32 gigabyte SSD and it's working. So you just go to hiveos.com or just Google hiveos, hiveos.farm. Um, and you click install and um, you know, I'm, it's for GPUs, so you can download it here. I'm actually using the beta because uh, with these 5700s and maybe 5600s, I was informed to use the, it's recommended to use the beta for that. So that's what I'm doing. Um, you download that and you download this program Etcher, and that's what writes the the HiveOS file to the drive. So once you once you have Etcher, I'll actually show you guys real quick. Um, let me see where I can find it. Uh, my, this is a mess. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, uh, all right, so this is Etcher real quick when you open that up. Uh, man, my computer should be faster than that. Whatever. I got SSDs, baby. Where is it? Okay. So, yeah, it's really simple. Look at this. Just You download the file that you would do, and then see here it is, the file I downloaded. Um, click that. You click open. And then you click the target. You just like see. Let's see if I was going to click that. Click select. Now I'm not going to click flash now, but that's what you would do. And then you click it, and then it would take about a minute or so. It'd give you a little progress bar. And when it's done flashing, what you would do then is you would open up the drive in your computer that you recently flashed to. So let's say it was this one, and there would be, um, it, you you would just make this file rig.config and you just make a text file and name it that. And then all you have to do is open that file and put in your farm hash ID. And where you get that is once you've made your HiveOS account, you you it automatically makes a, your first farm for you so you you i'll just show you what it looks like um the intro page so you like you click your farm and you go to settings and you have this farm hash right here so this is the value you just copy that and then there's a like um in that text file there you there's actually like an example one where you'd copy paste it um and then we were in that example thing where you'd paste it to the real one, rig.conf, config, whatever. You would paste that farm hash ID where it says farm hash equals blank. And then there's like um, a place where it's like worker ID or worker name and you just put in, you just make up a name there. So like I, I typed in, you know, rig one, rig two for each individual one. And then you're good. You just can turn the computer off, take the SSD out, or unplug the the flash drive, and just plug it into your mining computer, and you're good to go. Um, let's see what this is here. SSDs are more much more reliable and advised to use. Um, oh, if you want to prolong the life of your USB flash drive, please run logs off. Oh shit! I should have done that. Maybe I still will. Um, Please run it. I don't know how you would run that. Maybe um, there's a setting or it's in the that can rig dot can file. I don't know, but yeah, my rig one is on a flash drive, so we'll see about that. Um, so yeah, and the last thing I wanted to go over with Hive OS is the pricing. So the first thing right off the bat is if you're only using one computer with it, it's totally free. It says one worker is always free. And it also says it's free up to four workers, which is like four mining rigs. Um, but the caveat is the, beyond that first worker that's free, the second, the next three workers 
you have to use apparently um, mine Ethereum or Ethereum Classic on the Hive Hiveon pool, which is kind of weird because just like a one or two days ago, I got up my second rig and neither of these are on the Hiveon pool. They're both on Nice Hash, and I haven't gotten any uh, no, like error or notification or anything and it still says free daily cost and so so maybe in like a week or in a month it'll update and be like hey you got to pay the three bucks now to continue using uh, i don't know maybe it says in the, the faq the fac <laughs> so um so yeah um and then beyond four workers or eventually maybe even for my second one since i'm not onto the hive one pool it's three dollars uh, per month per computer i guess beyond the first one the first one's free so the second and third or three it says or three percent of your earnings from the pool but i mean that would be like i think i calculated that's like nine dollars per month as opposed to so three you i guess you get to pick i don't really know exactly but um if you're not on the high volume pool you wouldn't even be the three percent so it would just be three per month so that's like that's really nice that's like nothing so yeah, that's the fee, and wow, this video is a lot longer than I was expecting. Maybe I'll try to cut it short for the next one because I didn't want to make this too long. Um, but yeah, this is Hive OS. Uh, I, I really like it so far. Um, I did hear some things, I think from Hash Raptor on YouTube, that he was getting um, higher power consumption at the same settings or something like that with Hive OS than Windows when mining with the 5700 XT build, like six GPU. He might have even said it was like a whole hundred watts higher with Hive OS. I don't really know. Um, my rig one is pretty high power consumption, but I, I might just be that model of the 5700 XT I have because it's just five of these. Look at there, the core is undervolted. Um, the core, I mean, the core is underclocked and the core voltage is undervolted to 750 millivolts which is really low it's pretty good um and the whole rig is pulling like uh like something like 830 watts from the wall at 283 where i like before i bought any 5700s i read that they're supposed to get like 120 watts at the wall but mine are like closer to 150 or some shit like that so it's like what the fuck but uh, anyway, it's still making me a lot of money. The electric is just uh, like a 10%, maybe 20% tops with the, the price. So it's not that big a deal. Um, so yeah. Alright, I'm going to end this video and uh, I'll see you guys. Hope you have a good day.